Good morning. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's 11.53. It is 11.53. It's almost there. Do you know where your children are? It's 11.53. Okay. You want to help weird. me? We are at Magic Kingdom doing some shopping for some family members because Sarah is going to Shagalan Thursday and has like, we have like 17 cousins and nieces and nephews at birthdays are coming up. So we are doing our shopping at the Emporium before we get our, our Sunday started. So we just had the realization, or I just did, that this is the last Sunday of it being like fall and Halloween in the Magic Kingdom because they don't take very long at all for them to to switch out from Halloween and fall decorations to Christmas decorations. And Christmas is Tuesday, or Halloween is Tuesday. And then I'm sure by Friday, at the very latest, everything will be swapped out, or at least everything will be gone. I'm gonna leave, and I probably will come back. Yeah. So I'll try to come every single day and show you the progression between the two holidays. Because if it's if it's like how it was during our college program, it literally was two days. That's all it took. Gift shop stop number two. Briar Patch. This is where Sarah used to work, and I used to come sit on these rocking chairs all day long. We're off to gift shop number three. Briar Patch was kind of a bust. There was not a lot in there. But Sarah should be, hopefully, should done, be. and should be here. It is an absolutely beautiful day. It's one o'clock. Usually by now it's like the heat of the heat. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Awesome. It's breezy. It's beautiful. It's Cover Girl. I think we're done shopping for the day. We have a few more things that Sarah's gonna pick up during the week. Yeah. But me and Tyler, That's I think we're super things. cool with our collars and our sunglasses on. You gonna pop I have it? a collar. Tyler's gonna pop his soft collar. <laughs> I always wanted to try the fried chicken at this place. Yeah. That must be new. Hi! Welcome on How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you doing? So I brought you this present. Oh, oh. Sarah was a little shy meeting Merida, even though we've met Merida a handful of times. Yeah, I've never, like, people give gifts to characters all the time, like, Matt gives characters gifts all the time. I just have never done it before, so I was just excited to give her something. She was super pumped to get it, too. That's a little sneak peek on yeah. one of our buttons. Did you take any footage of us taking the other footage, too? Um, Balloons? Well, yes, you don't see the button. And Let us know down below if you have guesses for what the three are and the mystery. Yeah. What's this little door for? Who goes in there? Lumiere? Cogsworth? Who uses that door, Peter? It's me. It's me. <laughs> Look at those Christmas lights. They finally removed the crane that's been sitting here that helped put those lights up but this is like the best spot the closest I feel like you could see the lights like very very easily see how they're just like draped down right there and you can kind of see them over here on this side so that's it so this spot right here has been blocked off for weeks so we're gonna go see the Sarah's little wishing well Bye. yeah Oh, I thought it was Snow White's. That's Disneyland? Darn, we'll have to go there. Maybe next year? 2018?
I never realized how close this res resort here is to the edge of Disney property. The turn, the right turn, is like the very last turn you can make while you're still at Disney before you go out the gate. It smells really good in here. Ooh. It smells really good. So we are going to grab some food because we are hungry. But we're here to, to jam. We're here to relax and then take some photos. So you'll get another hint at what this month's button theme is. It has to do with... Yeah, we listened to it like 700 times while we were driving it. But you'll get a... You'll get a hint at what, uh... About what's going on, like what are, what's going on with our buttons. Ooh! Coffee! Christmas coffee. Christmas decorations. Should we get this? We should get it and eat it right now. No, it's one piece of candy per day. Oh, when does it start? December 1st? Let's get it. Uh-oh, we still got Halloween here. Here's a different number for the Art of Animation staff. So we got Coco. Hey, hey. That one's super cool. What was this one called? The I know, but Paca Paca Ooh. I like it. It's that one's super clever, too. Cheshire. And this one. Ooh, look at the hands. Ooh. Look at this. This is my steak and egg burger. Caesar, french fries, egg on a burger. Sarah got the surf and turf with the Caesar surf and turf burger. The crab cake. And french fries. And shrimp. And all of her sauces. You ready? Because mm -hmm. I'm not sure what's happening in the world, but look underneath the tonight temperature. 46 degrees. Are you kidding me? That's a joke, right? It's gonna it's gonna feel like it's Chicago here. I think we brought all our jackets, right? We should we need to get Eva jacket. She's gonna be frigid. How's your food so far? Really good. It just keeps falling apart. Like it's it's just kind of messy. So my pride I ate a bite and it was really good. I, we love Caesar salads at Disney. I forgot, I think Ken's is the is the Caesar dressing company, but it's delicious. And I devoured most of mine. I thought my fried egg was actually going to be completely fried and not yolky at all. But that exploded on my shirt and part of my shorts. So, But mine's super good. I'm always a big fan. They call it a Southwest burger a lot, where you have a fried egg. Uh, Southwest burger? No, Southwest Burger, a lot, of, a lot of places call it that at least. Um, but they just call it a steak and egg and it's super, super good and tasty. We thought taking photos of our buttons would be easier once we moved to Florida. Now there's just more more opportunities to be... OCD, more opportunities to get extravagant photos. This is what we're doing. Fighting. I don't know if you've ever taken pictures of a button. If you have a button, pull it out and try to take a good photo of it in the sun. The glare is the hardest thing to deal with ever. Prior to taking a picture of Crush, we were in that splash zone. Sarah's like, can you go over there and hold up the button in the middle of that? And I was like, um, it's a splash zone. She's like, yeah. Well, well we did it, right? Mm -hmm. I'll put up like sneak peek photos tomorrow. Oh. Tomorrow is in when we're watching this, or tomorrow is in the day after we're watching this? Tomorrow is in the day you're watching this so. film. Right now. Look at those big, it's, a, it's, it's huge what they're building there. All those supports, all those I-beams. That looks like a straight up steamboat, willy boat. Big old crane, but that's, we. it's been a few weeks since we were here, and they are like much further along. So there's gonna be a skyway system and a gun? I think you were, I were right. The, you think it's just sky? I have no idea. See, I didn't know a skyway was called a gondola. Correct us if, correct, tell us the truth. Is there going to be a skyway and a gondola system? See, I thought a Meaning gondola. Gondola as in a boat. Gondola. As in a boat, and there's a guy, little Italian guy with a big stick pushing yeah, you, man. pushing you down the river towards Venice. Like, that's what I pictured a gondola as. But then I think I misunderstood, and I think that, like, a skyway, like they used to have in Fantasyland, 
are also called gondolas for some odd reason, considering one's in the air and one's in the sea. See? Let us know. Yeah. I do want to show you guys my shirt. It's from a company called Agnes and Nora. I don't really know a lot about them just yet, but it's really comfy. My friend that sells it sent me one. Isn't it comfy? This is like pajamas. But it's nice like too. Like you could wear it to Magic Kingdom. And like the material is so nice. And you'll put a link down below? Yeah. Why not? I made a friend. Look at this big old turtle. He's probably waiting. He's probably like, they got food. Sorry, dude. Well, that's what a Disney turtle looks like, everybody. This has been your segment of Walt Disney's... What do you call it? Oh, this has been your Walt Disney's True Life Adventures, sponsored by the Burkhart Project. Since the last time we were here, they put a new plush out, and it's all too real about what's going to happen. Eve's going to have a cone of shame. She is going to have a cone of shame, isn't she? She can't even chew it because she's going to have her teeth pulled. She can press on it. How about we get it once she can chew it? Yeah. Because it's sad, like, I'd rather her not know it exists, because then she'll miss it if she can't. Yeah. I do want these. She's gonna. She wouldn't be able to push them around. She likes to push her ones in the ground around when they're not like if the water's not full enough. She doesn't like to know that it's a little empty, so she pushes it around, making a lot of noise until we fill it with more water. We pretty much have a little princess. <laughs> no, she's just communicating. We took a detour on the way home because Art of Animation is super close to celebration, and we thought we were gonna go to the Pumpkin Patch tomorrow. But we're like, you know, it's right here. Let's see if it's still open, if it's going on, how it looks and everything. So we're here at Celebration. We're going to check out their pumpkin patch. And Sarah said she instantly feels like she's in Chicago. Because it's fall -y feeling. We're not in the it's Disney like bubble. It's great neighborhoody feeling. Tents, parks. People walking around with jackets and hoodies and pumpkins in their hands. There's cute kids walking around with little, little ones in their hand. Let's check it out. Says it's open. Yeah. Ooh, they insane. got a big one. They did get a big one. Anyone that big. So we found some pumpkins. We'll take photo. We'll show you when we go back because they kind of ask for donations if you're going to take video or photo. And we don't want to go there and with the camera out and everything and then not leave with something. So they're only cash and I forgot to grab cash before we went. So we're walking over, but it's cool because we get to see all the, like, the fall decorations of all the places in downtown celebration. And there's so many dogs here all the time, and it's great to see. Ooh. Sarah's heard about this place. Uh -huh. What's the deal? It's just edible cookie dough. This place is edible cookie dough. Have you been here before? So all of this is raw cookie dough, but it's made of no eggs. It comes in heat treated flour, so it's completely safe to eat. Ooh. Sarah, having a little party, I guess. You want to sit or do you want to walk? Let's walk. Okay. So what, what? I couldn't hear her. What kind of comp? What is that? It's just um, chocolate chip with with also white chocolate chips, sprinkles, and orange fruit filling. Right? Uh, so it's not like pumpkin or anything. It's but just, it looks it looks folly. Yeah, that's why I got it. Because I, I wanted to just get chocolate chip and then it, it just looked a little bit folly. So there's no eggs in this and there it's heated flour, so it's totally safe to eat. It's yeah, there's cookie. there's nothing, I mean, other than like if you get upset stomach from sweetness, nothing in there will like actually get you sick like eating raw cookie dough. But it has a simulation that you're eating raw cookie dough. And that wasn't bad, it was that and a pop for five bucks. Yeah. So like just for a little sweet this treat. It's like super dense, like yeah. it's packed. They like, it's weird, like they almost make like little snowballs with gloves on and they packed it in their, in their palms. I love my Pepsi. I don't get Pepsi at the parks. I try not to buy pop because I would drink it very quickly. So she saw a can of Pepsi and she was she I was, was sold. Tonight when we were going to go grocery shopping, I was going to ask if we could get a case of pop. This will this will do me in. I could probably drink this in 20 seconds. Yeah, I don't want any of it. I still have my so coffee. They saw this because I had this just like a travel mug that because we have so many of these. And they were like, well, was one girl was like, I have to ask, what resort are you staying at? And I'm like, we're actually local, but we just use these because we have them. She's like, oh. Yeah, she's like, oh, I've got like five or six of those, and I've got like 10 universal ones. 
and they were nice in there. Yeah. We were trying to convince one of the girls to go to the school we went to in Chicago. Yeah. Because she said she lived there or used to live there? Yeah. or In Rogers Park. But now she lives here, it sounds like. Because she wants to go to college there. Mm -hmm. I think we sold her. So that was very, very good. What did you think of it? The what? The cookie dough? Yeah, the cookie dough. Delicious. I'm still eating it. Oh, it I thought you were over it. I thought it was done. <laughs> like, most of it left. Oh We'd, my gosh, look at these chairs. Look at these chairs. People just relaxing and having a good time in celebration with the ducks on the water. Look at this little puppy. Oh, We're going to go back and uh, and pick a winner out. Then we're going to core it and decorate it tomorrow? Tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow. And we'll put it on the porch for some animal to come take because <laughs> we're not in Chicago where you can leave a pumpkin outside for like three months and it not be completely destroyed. I'm sure this pumpkin is going to be a I pile mean, of mush within a week. Some pumpkins in Chicago get eaten by like squirrels. Yeah, squirrels come and nibble on, on But pumpkins. the weather doesn't have as big of a... Right. I think we said this one was the winner. It's level, it's got a stem, and it's pretty round. It's not perfect, which is always good. Is that, the, is that the winner, sir? Will you help me and carry some, a few things? And I'll carry that. These Midwestern bumpkins found themselves a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> what is a bumpkin? <laughs> it's got a head. Look at my current situation right now. Oh, guy, and a pumpkin. <laughs> I think the guy felt bad for sale for having all the carry all and stuff and I was getting pumpkin. But we were like, how much of a pumpkin? And we, took, we, we haggled that out and then he was like, and so I was like, oh wait, I almost forgot this pumpkin. How much for this a pumpkin? This little guy. And, so, and the guy's like, two dollars. And I handed him another two bucks and he's like, just go. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, happy Halloween. We need, we need to find a garbage can. <laughs> oh wait, here. It's right there. Okay. I've another. Had, <laughs> I've had bad Sunday-itis all day. I hate to admit it, but it's true. <laughs> but another weekend gone. Another weekend gone, but we've got like a very different and exciting week ahead of us because tomorrow we're gonna decorate our pumpkin. Well, we'll carve our pumpkin. Ca yeah, carve our pumpkin, and then Tuesday is Halloween and Eve surgery. Wednesday is my last day here. Got to pack. Wednesday's last day. Got to pack and get ready and everything, and then Thursday Sarah leaves really early. Like and insanely it'll, it'll early. It'll just be me and the pup here. Until Monday, Tuesday? Monday. Monday night. Monday night. Late. So, it's an exciting week, so hopefully it'll fly by. Yeah. It's just sad because when I get home, it's Monday. It's not like, oh, it's Friday, we just get the weekend, like a whole other week. But it'll be just a different week. Yeah. We'll make it work. Yeah. I and mean, there's a lot of fun stuff between Sarah being in Chicago and people coming down or things going on here while she's gone that I'll get to, I'll get to do and share with you. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.